Funding for the distribution of Cine Maryland is provided by the Maryland Film Office. most fascinating things about Maryland's independent film scene is the variety of films being made here. Reporter Rhonda Pence caught up with the filmmakers of the horror comedy Swarm of the Snakehead. Swarm of the Snakehead. It means exactly that. It's a swarm of these snakehead creatures. They're part fish, part snake, and pure evil. This movie certainly catches you off guard. It starts out looking like a regular horror flick. Maybe, maybe a little kind of scary at first, but just for a New York minute. Then you start picking up on the satire. I laughed the whole way through the movie. Certainly local filmmaking at its best. The cinematography, editing, and music are really spot on. <laughs> Something's out there. Something unnatural. You may be a little afraid at first, but mostly you'll have a lot of fun watching Swarm of the Snakehead just as soon as you get used to walking fish attacks. These crazy little snakefish take over Barrow Spring, Maryland, a fictitious town, and have their own feast on the day of the town's fish off. No one's safe not even the reporter covering the event. These aren't your run-of-the-mill mini-monsters. They've got personality. Not only can they walk, but they can talk, even laugh. We actually decided that we didn't want the snake heads to be really like, you know, raw, you know, like really loud and, and um, big, low, deep, rumbly type of voices. Um, that would be sort of a common stereotype for a creature film, you know. Um, but we wanted to do something a little with a little bit more personality, and a little bit more um, uh, just change in attitude, and and uh, and and, and, and lighter, and lighter, and higher pitched also. These guys. <laughs> this is our one of our snakehead models. We had uh, uh, five at one time. When they get wet, they're actually a huge sponge inside, so they become monstrously heavy. Uh, and they drip <laughs> for days. <laughs> but uh, I think we've created a, an interesting little character with these guys. The film features Canadian-born acting veteran Frank A. Lama as the leading coward, I, I mean the leading male. He triple dipped as second director, executive producer, and played the role of Daryl. Hello there. This is Daryl Delhay, host of The Manly Fisherman, asking, feeling a little worn out? Performance, not what it used to be. He's a uh, he's a washed up actor uh, who is from L.A. and he's very L.A. and uh, the only gig that he could get ultimately was that of a fishing show host. And uh, ironically, he knows absolutely nothing about fishing. Lama is certainly a master at exaggerated facial contortions, perfect for satire, and he has great comic timing. The eyebrows really work. I decided that I would uh, kind of throw my hat into the ring as a producer uh, because I knew that I could get locations, I knew that I could, uh, I had a large body of actors that I could work with on the Eastern Shore and I just felt really strongly about the project. It was a, a great mix of sci-fi and comedy and uh, the characters were really finely drawn and had a lot of humor inherent to them. There is a takeoff of the movie Jaws. Of course we uh, got Gunnar Hansen um, in the film, who played Leatherface in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It is the epic struggle between a raw and real man, savagery and nobility that is the open sea. You all know me. Something's out there. Something unnatural. Uh, fish. Pot snake. Pure evil. Gunner! Lisa Burdett is the ornery Barrow Springs mayor who hides information that her own citizens are being eaten by the walking snakefish. Just so the town's main tourist attraction, the fish off, can go on. <laughs> Ah! 
There are romances intertwined in the movie, and our heroes prevail at the end, basically giving a little something for everyone, even room for a sequel. The Frank A. Lama Seth Hurwitz team has many other storylines in the works. Snakehead 2, I was a teenage snakehead, and Claws, a Jaws spoof of a giant blue crab on the eastern shore. For Cinemaryland, I'm Rhonda Pence.